This video is brought to you by African Vultures Safe, an easy initiative aiming to coordinate and increase conservation impact. Africa is home to many beautiful animal species, including 16 of the 23 existing species of vultures. In movies and literature, these birds have often been given negative roles, portrayed as ugly, vicious beasts waiting for an exhausted protagonist to die to feast on. The reality, however, is very different. Vultures are closer to heroes than villains, keeping the environment clean, reducing risk of disease transmission and water contamination. In wildlife reserves, the presence of vulture circling has even been used to locate poachers, working in a similar way to the bat signal in DC Comics. Today, you will meet six of these misunderstood yet vitally important vulture species. The Cape vulture is an endangered species that has experienced a 92% population decline in the last 30 years, with only 9,400 mature individuals remaining in the world. It is endemic to Southern Africa, with men breeding colonies established in South Africa and Botswana. Key characteristics of this bird include a long neck with blue skin, Pale cream feathers at the exception of the flight feathers that are black, a black bill and sear, and yellow eyes. The Cape vulture is typically considered the largest raptor in Africa, weighing up to 11 kilos with a 2.6 meter wingspan. It is often seen near high cliffs on which it roosts in large colonies and builds thick nests with their lifelong mate. The African white-back vulture is a critically endangered species that has experienced a 90% decline in the last 30 years. While it is the most widespread and common vulture in Africa, there are only 270,000 mature individuals remaining across the continent. It is significantly smaller in size than the Cape vulture, darker in color, have brown eyes, and a characteristic white patch on the back and rump. They are known to be extremely efficient scavengers. 50 white back vultures were once recorded consuming a 23 kg carcass within 3 minutes, leaving nothing but skin and bones. It nests on top of trees and sometimes even on top of electric pylon by building large platforms out of sticks. The Rupal vulture is a critically endangered species that was once the most common vulture in North Africa. It has seen a 97% decline in the last 30 years, with only 22,000 mature individuals remaining in the world. Their range extends through the Sahel region from Senegal east to Sudan and south to East Africa. It is a large vulture easily identified by their mottled brown or black plumage. It is the highest flying bird ever recorded, ascending to the average height of 37,000 feet, which is equal to the average height at which commercial airplane travels. Similarly to the Cape vulture, it breeds in large colonies on cliff faces. Next up, the lapid face vulture. It is an endangered species that has seen a 80% population decline in the last 30 years, with only 5,700 mature individuals remaining in the world. It can be seen in the southern Sahara to the Sahel, down through East Africa to Central and Northern South Africa. Key physical characteristics of this bird include a powerful sharp bill capable to tear skins and tendons that are too tough for other species, a bold pink head and an overall black plumage, at the exception of white thighs. They have also been known to occasionally hunt down prey. Unlike most vulture species, the lapid face is a solitary rooster that nests in large flat nests in thorny trees. The white-headed vulture is a critically endangered species that has suffered a 96% population decline in the last 45 years, with only 3,685 
mature individual remaining in the world. It is present in sub-Saharan Africa from Senegal, Gambia, Ethiopia, Somalia, and South Africa. It can easily be identified by its triangular pink head, blue seal, and orange bill. Unlike with many other raptor species, females can easily be recognized from the male by their white inner secondary flight feathers on an otherwise dark brown plumage. Similarly to the lappet faced vulture, these species roost alone or in pairs. Last but not least, the hooded vulture. It is a critically endangered species that has seen a 83% population decline in the last 30 years, with only 197,000 mature individuals remaining in the world. It is present in sub-Sahara Africa from Senegal to Ethiopia all the way down to Zimbabwe. In West Africa, they tend to congregate near human habitation, feeding in garbage and abattoir. In addition to feeding on carrion, they also feed on bugs during insect emergence. This bird is one of the smallest African vultures. Its head is bare at the exception of its hood that is made up of cream to black fluff. This species nests semi-colonially in tall trees such as palms. All these beautiful birds also share several ecological and behavioral characteristics. They all feed gregariously on carcasses, typically produce a single egg per breeding season, with some species such as the white-headed vulture rarely reproducing yearly. Form and maintain a lifelong bond with their mate and reach sexual maturity around 5 years old. In the next few months, African Vulture Safe will release more videos to explain the importance of vultures, the threats they are facing, and the conservation work carried out by our partners. If you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the next video comes out. Finally, do not forget to like and share this video to spread awareness. Thank you for watching.